Hello, my name is Samantha. Today is March 28th and it is the day I finally get to start my 2023 balcony garden. My begonia bulbs arrived today. It's still too early to plant the other seeds I'm going to be starting, but we are at the perfect time for begonias with planning on moving things outside for mid-May. This year there are 22 plants that I plan to have in my balcony garden. So starting begonias today, and then in about two or three weeks, I'm gonna start the seeds for five more, and then everything else will be planted outside in around mid-May, depending on the weather. I have been waiting all winter for this day, so I'm gonna get started. I've got two of these 12-inch pots. I'm gonna do, I, so I have five bulbs, three in one, two in the other. So let's just get started. It is Saturday, May 6th, and today is the day. So I will start by showing you where the seeds are that I planted early inside, and then we are moving outside. We are filling containers with dirt. We are planting, planting, planting. And here are the seeds. So as you can see, they are still quite small, but that is because these are the ones I planted early specifically because I knew they took a long time to really start growing. 
but I think I think they're doing well. I'm pleased. I know that for these now, for next year, I can start them even earlier, so I am always learning with the garden. So these are all petunias, along with the middle one here. And then we have lavender in these two. These two are lemongrass, and these two are thyme. And then over here, we have rosemary. Middle is lavender. And then these three around the corner are mugwort. And there's a whole story time I could go into with the begonias, why I have these two new ones. This one is still like this, but honestly, I just want to get going. These two look like they are quite wilted. I think they just need more water. So let's get them moving. So I've got the whole garden mapped out where everything is going to go. I'll show you, I, I realized I didn't show you how it's all set up. So let's take a quick look. I've also got three over there. So let's get started. So it is the next day, but I got all of the planting done yesterday, which I am honestly so impressed by. It took all day, um, mainly because I also squirrel proofed all the pots. So I'll show you how I did that and explain what I did, what I used. I've done something different each year. I think, I think this is going to be the one. So what I did this year, as you can see, so I got this netting from Lowe's and the one I got is just absolutely enormous. Like I'll have enough for years and years. And so what I did was just, you know, cut off pieces, just taped it onto each container. And the idea is to keep the squirrels out. Um, now, some of these, I'll, the plants will be able to like grow up through the netting. The other ones I'll have to remove once the plants get tall enough, but I think this is going to work. So fingers crossed on that. I did try to film yesterday as I was planting everything, but it was just, the balcony was so crowded, especially like there was one, all these containers, but then there were also like eight bags of potting soil. So I was, I had to be very careful stepping around, but I'm like, that's fine. I'll just show how it looks at the end. So thank you for watching my planting my balcony garden video. I will see you in a few weeks with a May garden tour. Mm -hmm.